Hey guys, today we're going to look at where the smart kids of the Game Shakers are now. Make sure you are subscribed and hit that notification bell. Let's go to the first cast member. We're starting with Babe, played by Cree Chikino. She is already 21 now and had a good change, but did not change that much though. And meet her twin sister, Jace. She is one minute older than Cree, fun fact. Let's talk about acting. Right after the show ended, Cree played a main role in the comedy series Mr. Iglesias. It's a Netflix original, so you can check it out easily. It ended in 2020 and has 22 episodes. Recently, she had a great role in the movie named Stay Awake. The genre of the movie is drama. My time on this lovely film was such a beautiful experience. Since this year, Cree has also appeared in 13 episodes of the popular ABC TV series, Big Sky. She will also be seen in the upcoming movies, Turtles All the Way Down. The release date will be somewhere in 2023, so keep an eye on it. We can conclude that Cree still has a great acting career. Keep it up. Time for a fun fact. Did you know that Cree also likes to dance? Look at those skills. In the show, she also danced a couple of times. She should do more with it. No, no, stop <laughs> giggling right now. This is not funny. <laughs> Next, we're going to Hudson, played by Thomas Cook. He changed a lot. Definitely a glow up. Hudson is known for not being the smartest kid, but the actor is the exact opposite of his role. Thomas speaks five languages, including English, Polish, Spanish, and also some Portuguese and even Mandarin. He is also interested in this because he was born in Brazil, but moved at a young age to the United States. He also has Polish ethnicity. I really like it. It like mixed with a bunch of cultures. You can experience different foods and different types of dances and different ceremonies and everything. So the languages are also very useful because Thomas loves to travel. Yeah, baby! Look at him here in Australia, France, Denmark, Hungary, and the Netherlands. He also seeks out nature and comes to the most beautiful places. This may have resulted in Thomas not really being active as an actor anymore. In 2021, he had his last acting role. This was two episodes in the TV series Head of the Class. He is now more focused on his own life than acting. Meet his girlfriend named Ava Dalgard. They've been together for a while and look cute together. As third, we're looking at Triple G, played by Benjamin Flores Jr. He is 20 now and has become mature, a good transformation. You might recognize him from the old Nickelodeon series Haunted Hathaways. Benjamin is also very active in the acting world, the most successful of all. You might recognize him from the movies of Trilogy, Fear Street, where he plays the role of Josh. This series of movies are very popular and is available on Netflix. He also has a big role in the TV series, Your Honor, a crime and drama series. Benjamin is also active as a voice actor. He has been voiceover for eight episodes of the show, Jurassic World Camp Cretaceous. Benjamin is also very busy with his own clothing brand. Yep, that's right. Recently, he announced SNT MNT. Here, he releases fashionable clothes, a big passion for him. Time for a fun fact. In 2010, when he was only seven years old, he appeared in The Ellen Show. Here, he had the opportunity to rap with the nickname Lil Peanut. Just a kid, but I think I got a crush. And I tried to tell my friend, but he was like, oh, hush. It's good for a seven-year-old. Later that year, he also dropped a single. Cool to see. But after this, he didn't make songs anymore. He just focused on his acting career. Next, Double G, played by Kel Mitchell. He is 44 now, and he hasn't changed much. Looks good. Look at him with his wife, Asia Lee. They have two kids together, one daughter and one son. Kel looks like a good father in real life. <laughs> Kel also has two other kids from a previous marriage, son Lyric and daughter Allure. Let's talk about acting. 
As you may know, Cal had a huge acting career and is known as a Nickelodeon legend. He began his career in 1996 with starring in the Nickelodeon classic Kenan and Cal. It was a really fun duo with Kenan Thompson. The show had four seasons. He is also known for the show named All That. Now, about the recent years, Kel wasn't really active as an actor. Sometimes he appears in one or two episodes of some series, but not more than that. But we're not done! In November 2023, there will be a new movie coming out named Good Burger 2, with Kel as the main role. This is the second part of the 1997 movie Good Burger, and is based on Keenan and Kel. So yes, he will make a return with Keenan, and the iconic duo will be back. I'm excited! Time for an interesting fact. He is focusing on making music now. Last month, he dropped a single named Go Time. I'm wondering if he will make more music in the future. He also makes videos on his YouTube channel. Furthermore, Cal also released two books over the past two years, named Blessed Mode, which is about his faith, and Prank Day. The second one is a funny kids book. We can conclude that Cal is smarter in real life than in the show. <laughs> That's my sweet thing I ever heard. Last but not least, we're going to take a look at Kenzie, played by Madison Shipman. She is 20 now, and in my opinion, changed the most of all. Do you like her blonde hair? Leave a comment down below with your opinion. She is not so active as an actress anymore. After the Game Shakers, she had a role in the TV series Red Ruby. The show had only 8 episodes, which Madison played in 7 of them. Last year, she also appeared in one episode of the Fox series Call Me Cat. But not more than that. Madison is more busy with her music career. In July 2021, she dropped her first single, Flying Solo. After this, she dropped two other songs named Nobody and Nice Guys. After a long time, no music, you can now pre-save her new song. The release date will be soon! I hope she will release more consistently now. She is also very active on social media, especially Instagram and TikTok. On both platforms, she has more than 2 million followers. You can find a lot about her personal life on it, and she posts many cool photos videos. She is just enjoying her life. Fun fact, one of Madison's first appearance was in Sesame Street. She was 7 years old. Ooh, with the rock. Well, I kicked it down the street for a while. <laughs> Sweet. This was the end of the video. Thanks for watching. I hope you learned more about the cast of the Game Shakers. Don't forget to subscribe and leave a like. And I'll see you at the next video. Goodbye.